Good morning everyone, my name is Akesh Gupta and I'm with Lightspeed Solutions. Today in this presentation I will share with you how easy it is to initialize a field value in RNSP Designer Add Pages. To begin with, let's basically look at uh, one of the examples we have. We basically have made a very simple uh, pages, a very simple project where we have an account and account type and uh, these are just some of the fields we are displaying and let's try to run this application. As you can see, these fields have just been dragged and dropped uh, from uh, the standard uh, RNSPeed, uh, standard RNSPeed Designer tool, uh, toolbox. So by default, uh, they are all going to be totally blank on the ad page. And then we'll discuss what our use case is as soon as the information comes up on the screen. So the goal here is there are scenarios where you would like to put a default value into a field as soon as the ad page has been shown to the user. So let's log in. This is the same application we have been using in all the other video presentations. So this way everyone is aware of what the application is all about. It is just maintaining different types of accounts. So on the ad page for the account, we have basically what is the name of the account, what is the type of the account, and we have two fields in particular which we are going to talk about, created by and last contact date. What we would like to do here is we would like to automatically populate the created by to the name of the person who is logged in, as well as the last contact date to be today's date, automatically. So let's actually start with how to initialize the field values. So on the add page, on the last contact date page, if you notice, in your formulas, initialize, by, initialize when adding record, it is the default value coming from the database. In this case, this field was not required and there was no default value. That's why it was coming as empty. So what we need to do is we need to basically highlight this thing and go to functions, go to date time and say today. So in reality, what we are saying here is when this record, when the add page gets shown for the very first time, go to this particular field, last contact date, and automatically initialize it to today's date. Now if you think about it, that was pretty straightforward, but let's look at created by. Unfortunately, we don't have any such function which will automatically tell me the name of the user. Remember, we are not looking for the user ID from the primary key of the user account or the user name. We are looking for the name of the user. So in this particular case, if I was to basically go to my user account, we have a user account ID and then we also have uh, like for example Akash Gupta is the user name uh, sorry Akash Gupta is the user name but Akash space Gupta is the name of the user so what we are interested is in is the name of the user so in order to get that type of uh, control RNSpeed has done a great job by giving us formulas so if I click on right click and go to functions database get column value now get column value is a great great function all it needs is three parameters, where to look for, which record to fetch, and which field to fetch. So in this particular case, where to look for, our answer is going to be user account because that is the name of my table where the information is sitting. Now the primary key for me to go fetch my logged in user account is also another function under security, user ID. And all we can do is we can convert it to string. So as you can see, sometimes you have to concatenate multiple functions to get the values out. And which field are we interested in is name. So name was the name of the field in our database. Let's just make sure. So in my user account table, user account ID was the primary key. Name was where basically we were saving the name of the user. Username and passwords are used for the uh, the user and passwords are the credentials which the user will supply we were interested in the field name so as you can see the initializing value can also be coming from a formula which also has another formula in it so as you uh, can see this can get pretty complex based on how you want to make it so let's rebuild it and let's run the application to see if both of my initialization values worked This is a web application, so it has to just basically do a full compile as compared to a web project or a website. So there you go, it finished, and now it's going to run it. So 
So what we're expecting here is that my created on automatically becomes a Keshe Gupta and last contact date automatically defaults to today's date. Of course, we did not change the, the fields, but we could have also turned the, uh, the, mm, the property of like enabled to be false, then these will become totally uh, kind of uh, unmodifiable by the end user. So let's log in here. So once I'm logged in, go to my account and I'm going to click on add. And as you can see, the created by automatically was defaulted to the name attribute of the signed in user record as well as the last contact date has been changed to today's date. I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and I hope it was very straightforward for you guys to see um, how easy it is to initialize field values in an RNSP designer application. Keep watching and thanks for your time.